triple F method, which stands for fasting, fast-paced feedback method. Okay, so fasting, what's fasting? So you probably know about fasting. Uh, if you don't, I'll just go over the summary right here. So the, the, the protocol is like 16-8. Now you might be thinking about 20 to 4 or like 24 to like whatever, but that's just BS. It's like uh, chase and tell stuff. Uh, as I said, like the fasting thing is uh, good, it's great, it helps you a lot, but it's not the solution. Okay, so hear me out. Now, you're fasting for 16 hours, you're eating at, for 8 hours, and that's total, total sums up 24 hours. Now, 16 hours, your fasting means that you don't consume any calories. You're drinking water, you're drinking coffee, uh, you might take like, uh, you, you might, even if you smoke, you, you're allowed to smoke when you're fasting, and then you have your first meal of the day, uh, first big meal, and then you have the, your second big meal. So if let's say you need uh, 2200 calories to burn fat, that's like a th you eat a thousand, uh, let's say you eat a thousand here and another thousand here and you still have 200 calories left for a snack somewhere around here. OK, so definitely it's much easier to just eat two big 1000 calorie meals instead of six small 500 meals. It's much easier to adhere to. You get less hungry. We'll go over those tips in a second. OK, so <clears throat> that's out of the way. Now, uh, what's the fast? Based feedback method. Let's see. Okay, was too hot. Take took my shirt off. Anyway, so here here is not where everybody gets it wrong. Here is where everybody gets it wrong, and how I used to get it wrong as well. So, in the the, the first step is the feedback period. Okay, people wait three months to figure out if they're losing fat or not. Sometimes, as I said, it took me even even one year to just wake up one day, look myself in the mirror, and get hit with the hard uh, fact, the the hard hitting fact that. I didn't make any progress the past year. But let's not take a year, which is like the worst case scenario. Let's take three months. So you wait three months uh, to figure out if you're losing fat or not. That's too long. OK, with uh, my way of doing things, you just wait two weeks, which is like 14 days. All you have to do is wait for 14 days and then you figure out if what you're doing is wrong or right. Right. So Instead of waiting three months and then seeing if you've lost 20 pounds or not, you just wait two weeks to figure out if you've lost uh, two, three or four or whatever your target uh, weight loss uh, speed is. OK, OK, so you just shorten the feedback way. This is the right way to do it. Two weeks. This is the wrong way to do it. Three months. OK, now let's go over the second one. That's the, the feedback period. Uh, diagnosing the problem. Okay. In the first case scenario, just make assumptions that are not based in logic. Just because you've wasted three months and you didn't hit your goal target, then you get really emotional and you just start getting angry and you're like, oh my God, everything I've been doing was wrong. So let's try this new way of uh, fasting. It's like uh, I fast alternate days and the, let's try keto and this thing and this other thing and just get too emotional, just start buying things and stuff, right? So <laughs> that's the wrong way of doing things. As assuming that everything you've been doing is wrong. Now, the right, doing, the right way of doing the thing is just diagnosing the problem. So. Yes, truth is, not everything you've been doing is wrong. Maybe two out of 10 things you've been doing were not optimal. You just need to diagnose these things. OK, so diagnosing the problem is instead of making assumptions that are based on emotion. Let's go over the next one, which is drastic change. As I said, you get too emotional. You make some assumptions. <clears throat> I used to get too emotional. I used to make uh, assumptions and then I would make some drastic change. OK, I'll stop eating now forever. Right. That's wrong. What's the right way to do it? Just tweak it. OK, let's see what I've been doing right, what I've been doing wrong. OK, I got it. Let's just tweak what I've already been doing. Right. So that's the right way to do it. Then you just repeat. OK, so think about it for a second. You wait three months, you make an assumption, uh, you make a drastic change, you wait another three months. Uh, chances are your uh, assumption was wrong and you, you didn't need to do the drastic change. So the, even the, the next three months, you still fail and you still fail. And it's like two, three times of failing. OK, that's two, three times of failing. And now you've just lost like nine months. OK, 
and you're just chasing tail. Now think about this. You wait two weeks and instead of losing like um, four or five pounds, you've lost three pounds. You diagnose why, you fix that, and now you start losing weight and fat exactly as much as you're supposed to, okay? So you don't really lose anything. You, you, you're just like one pound behind and you, you catch up to it the, the following weeks, right? So, so in just a three-month period, which is 12 weeks, you can get away with six feedback loops, which is a ton of data that you can uh, diagnose, you can uh, analyze, and you can iterate, right? So six feed feedback loops, uh, and at the end of the three months, you achieve your goal, okay? Even if you, you didn't lose, like, let's say you want to lose uh, 20 pounds of fat and you've lost, like, 19, that's still great. If you've lost uh, 21, that's still great. You, it doesn't have to be bull's eye, right? So that's the, the big, big difference and why I used to fail a lot. And when people come to me, that's a big, big thing they've been doing wrong. And listen, it's like, the hardest part is uh, diagnosing and tweaking properly. Uh, so, of course, of course, you won't be able to do it perfectly from the get-go. Okay, you can go and try for yourself, but you can also have a coach guide you and coach you through, right? So, if you want to get coached by someone that have, has done it again and again and again, it's, for me, it's just rinse and repeat. It's like the easiest thing ever. You can just click the link below and book a call with me, okay? So, that's the step number one how to fast with the fasting, uh, the, the, the triple F method and get lean and get that uh, Greek, Greek God body. Okay, let's go over the next uh, secret, which is how to fast and not be hungry all the time. Okay, so let me just... Okay, let's go over uh, how to fast uh, without being hungry all the time. Okay, so when uh, you're fasting, it's